This video is part of the tutorial series created for the Texas Digital Library's Texas Data Repository and based on a similar video set created by the Odom Institute. The Texas Data Repository is a platform for publishing and archiving datasets and other data products created by faculty, staff, and students at Texas higher education institutions. Special thanks to Texas A&M University Libraries for the use of their audiovisual suite. This part of our series will provide a broad overview of the Texas Data Repository software called Dataverse. Dataverse is an open source application that is developed primarily by Harvard University. Institutions across the world run their own Dataverse repository installations, which provide users with the ability to share, preserve, cite, explore, and analyze research data. For instance, there is our Texas Data Repository, as well as Dataverse repositories at other institutions. Some of the Dataverses within the U.S. include the UNC Dataverse, the Harvard Dataverse, and the University of Virginia Dataverse. Dataverses abroad include the Scholars Portal Dataverse in Ontario, Canada, Dataverse NL in the Netherlands, and the list goes on and on. Institutions and other stakeholders can be part of the Dataverse community, which contributes to development of the Dataverse software, as well as norms and standards in data sharing. The Dataverse project also has a GitHub repository, where community members can contribute code extensions and track issues. The Dataverse project also makes available APIs to encourage the development of new and exciting tool integrations. Now let's look at the basic schematic structure of the Texas Data Repository's Dataverse software. Participating academic institutions have their own spaces within the Texas Data Repository. The Texas Data Repository's Dataverse, unlike the Harvard Dataverse, is not open to researchers worldwide. Only researchers affiliated with institutions who are part of the Texas Data Repository may create and use collections in the Texas Data Repository. In our next video, we'll describe logging in and creating a collection for your datasets.